I was 18 when I broke into the big leagues. No athlete ever ends his career or her career the way you want to. We all want to keep playing forever. But it doesn't work that way. Being a professional athlete requires hard work, long hours and lots of training. With such intensity involved, athletes often face difficulties when moving on from professional sport. How they face these difficulties depends on the individual. We spoke to Darren, a former professional triathlete. This is his story. I started swimming at an age of about five or six. Uh, we were in a little local swimming club, um, so I enjoyed competing already at that level. But then the Commonwealth Games came in 1982 in Brisbane, and when I saw that on TV, I thought, wow, that is amazing, seeing all these athletes do what they're doing. And I knew at that point I wanted to have a go at professional sport, and I would have loved to have been in the Commonwealth Games or the Olympic Games. So this is Centenary Pool, and, and this is one of my favourite pools. I always come here on the weekend. I love the outdoor uh, facility. You always have the sun shining, and I know a lot of my friends who are swimmers love coming here. It makes you feel fast for whatever reason. And this pool has so much history in Brisbane, so it's one of my favourite venues to train. So I asked my coach, and he said, I think you're an endurance athlete, so you probably would have a choice of either triathlon or the 25 kilometre swimming event. And I just thought, there's no way I'm going to do 25 kilometres of swimming. Um, so that got me interested in triathlon and from there I started training for triathlon and it was only within about a year and a half that I got to a level where I could start competing. you to change career path and was this a difficult decision to make? There are a couple of reasons why I retired as an athlete. The first was injury. I had a hamstring injury and it was just getting quite painful every time I would compete. It would take a couple of days for me to recover and then I had to try and back up the week after and so this reoccurring injury was one of the main factors that I decided to quit the sport. Uh, the second was, um, I guess, the, the understanding that in order to make it in another career, I couldn't leave it too late. I had a bunch of friends from France who were saying to me, you know, if you want to make it, you can't be 40 and try and make it in a second career. And I knew that I still wanted to be able to, to make it in a second career, whatever it was to be. I'd need to have found a second passion. And so I didn't want to leave that too late. So 30 to 31 years of age was fairly young as a triathlete to retire, but that's um, why I decided to do that at that point. So you've recently been married. Has this helped at all in your transition to regular life? It was difficult to get into a regular uh, job, have a normal life, so to speak. And so being able to settle down was certainly one of the big challenges that I had and one of the th things that I really had to face. But um, Meeting Michelle and falling in love and getting married was the best thing that's ever happened to me and so it's made everything worth it and I would be very, very happy to stay put, to be settled if it meant that I was going to stay together with Michelle.